Do you feel like you have a little sagging around the neck area and it's just driving you crazy? You wish that you could do something to get rid of it and certainly skin creams are not the cure. Well, a neck lift may be just the right fix for you. Dr. Jason Leedy is a plastic surgeon with the Cleveland Plastic Surgery Institute. It's good to have you here today. Nice to be here. Okay, when the sagging around the neck, does that start to happen around a certain age or is it a hereditary thing? Well, it's, it's hereditary. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it'll happen in uh, in the 40s to, for some people, but you know, may, it may not affect people at all, but sometimes in the 60s or so, they'll start seeing a change. But it can happen to, to younger patients. When it's hereditary, you really can't do anything about it. You're born with your genes, but is there anything you can do to try to prevent some sagging from happening, or are you just kind of out of luck? Well, the, the neck's a difficult spot for people. Mm -hmm. You can wear uh, certain makeups or do non-surgical things for the face to mm -hmm. improve the appearance or reverse some of the signs of aging there, but the neck is real difficult. Uh, the people are often just stuck wearing a turtleneck to cover it up. Uh, right. and, and the neck uh, certainly will uh, add to the, an aged look and make someone feel mm -hmm. older than what they, they yeah. need to. They say sometimes it's the first thing that will start to show age. So the good thing is there are options too mm -hmm. in terms of neck, neck lifts. And we're going to talk about those and show some pictures so that maybe viewers can identify with which, which problem they're having. First right. of all, there's something that called smart lipo, which we've talked about on the show before. Yes. And you can do that, perform that on the neck. So let's take a picture of that and talk about sure. how, why this works. Now, the if neck. there's just a little bit of extra skin smart lipo is mm -hmm. great it's an office based procedure permanent result the skin is tightened uh, using the laser and so it works for someone with just a little bit of extra skin mm -hmm. but sometimes there's too much skin and there's a, there's a limitation to what the laser can do and if there's too much skin then you need to, to move up to a more of an excisional technique but you see this patient here she had smart lipo the neck and it made a, a nice permanent improvement in tightening up the neck improving her overall appearance minimal downtime mm -hmm. uh, and just a small uh, little incision underneath the chin in doing so and smart lipo is done pretty quickly is it just well it's a, yeah day, it's in a, and out uh, office based it takes a little over an hour and recovery mm -hmm. is measured in a few days that's nice, especially because you think with a neck lift it might take a little longer with surgery, but right. that you do you can perform some neck lifts at the office. So we're going to take another look sure. at a picture of a neck lift that was done in the office. Yes. Now, if there's too much skin, like this patient, the laser just won't, will not give a, a nice uh, uh, result that will accomplish what the patient's looking for. So in, in someone like this patient, you really have to remove the extra skin. So the, the skin can be removed but then the soft tissue of the neck can be redraped as well and that can be tightened and that happens basically at the uh, what's called the angle of the jaw down by the the corner of the jaw back behind the ear and and you can tighten that tissue and uh, remove the extra skin and that gives a, a real nice permanent result and this patient's seen immediately uh, after having this and uh, recovery for this is uh, within a, a week and a half two yeah, weeks that, that looks really nice really nice now some um, patients will have to go to the operating room for mm -hmm. their neck lift procedures sure. and you have a couple examples of a case like that right now now this patient has banding in the front of the neck mm -hmm. when there are significant bands uh, sometimes just tightening back behind the ear isn't enough and they'll still have the bands and and that is what uh, leads to an aged appearance in, in the neck and so in order to improve that uh, the, there's a small incision that, that's required underneath the chin and the skin is released from the muscle because those bands are actually the muscle of the neck that's, mm -hmm. that's uh, fallen forward. And those two edges of the muscle are, are sewed together and tightened. And then the skin is redraped uh, like in the last patient. Mm -hmm. There's another patient, same thing. She had uh, those bands in the neck and uh, just redraping the skin back behind the ear wouldn't have corrected that fully. And so it is important then to uh, bring those muscles together directly. And that requires a, more of a dissection, a longer procedure, and that's best done in the operating room. Yeah, those look great. You know, if you're having any kind of surgery performed or plastic surgery, it's obviously because you're not crazy about something with your appearance. Mm -hmm. So that brings um, the issue of scarring up. Where are the scars and where are the incisions made when you have a neck lift procedure? My preferred way of doing it is around the ear, using the contours of the ear to camouflage the scar. So this patient is the one from the, the prior example. The incision goes in the contours of the ear. So you can see uh, 
just a little faint pink line, she's about two months out from having it, that, that goes uh, basically from the top of the ear down around inside the ear, back mm -hmm. around and, and behind. So okay. it's camouflaging those normal contours. Okay, well very good, those all look great. If, if we haven't answered any of your questions and you need a little bit more information about a neck lift procedure or really any kind of plastic surgery pr procedure, you can contact Dr. Jason Leedy at 440-461-6100. He's with the Cleveland Plastic Surgery Institute. You can also log on to drleedy.com for more information. Good to see you again. Thanks, Thanks so much. Me. All right, now we're going to send it over to Fred. Well,